leaders of the G7 agree to Donald Trump's proposal to effectively gloss over Russia's invasion of Crimea and invite Vladimir Putin back to talks after being kicked out in 2014. And what are the consequences for Ukraine if such a decision were to be made? These questions will be fiercely debated ahead of the next meeting of the world's advanced industrialized nations in the U.S. in 2020. Here's what the U.S. president said when questioned about it at the G7 meeting in France. Mr. President, do you think that you will invite uh, Putin to next year's G7, sir? That I don't know. We did discuss it. Uh, we had a very good discussion on Russia, <coughs> President Putin, and a uh, lively discussion, but really a good one. And uh, it was it, it, it certainly, it certainly was. Possible. It certainly was. We'll see. The UK's Guardian newspaper quoted a European diplomat at the G7 as saying, only Giuseppe Conte, the outgoing Italian prime minister, offered Trump any support. According to this account, Shinzo Abe of Japan was neutral, the rest, the UK's Boris Johnson, Germany's Angela Merkel, Canada's Justin Trudeau, the EU Council President Donald Tusk, and the French President Emmanuel Macron pushed back firmly against the suggestion. On August 20th, days before the G7 summit began, Donald Trump said it would be appropriate to let Russia rejoin the group. Russia should be a part of it because we're looking for world peace and, it's, and other things, trade and other things, and it would be a lot easier to have Russia in where they had always been. At this year's meetings, the debates over Russia sparked a lively discussion, as described by the U.S. president. But according to the New York Times, most world leaders have rejected the idea of Russia's readmission until Moscow reverses its intervention in Ukraine, saying it would reward aggression.